it's Sarah with Core Motion Fitness. I've got a great 30 minute workout for you today. You need a set of light hand weights and a mat and definitely a water bottle. So go ahead and grab those things and let's get ready to go. We're gonna start with some squat touches to the ground. So go ahead and drop your backside, engage your core and reach your arms overhead. Good, from here, we're gonna add on, quickly getting this warm up in. Walk your feet back into a plank, walk in and stand tall. All of these warm up exercises today are gonna get you ready for every move that you're gonna do in the next 30 minute workout. And one more time, please. Good job. Let's take this into a good morning. So hands behind the ears and hinge at the hips and then stand nice and tall. And you've got two more and last one adding a reach. So tip at the hips, reach, pull and rise. Tip, reach, pull. Now when you're doing that pull, I want you to really feel your shoulder blades squeezing together. And you've got one more time here and standing tall at the top. Take your hands, clasp them together, drop them to one side, up and overhead and switch to the other side. So a slight bend in the knees and a rotation through the trunk. Very nice job. And you've got two more on each side. Good, last one for each side. Nice job, and hold in place. Knee, and then reach your foot to me. Knee up, and reach. So you're getting some cross body movement here with this twist and Tin Man. And you've got one more on this side, and then switch to the other side. Twist and reach. So anytime you're twisting your body, your trunk, your core is engaged, and you've got one more time, and twist, and last one here. Good job, hold in place. Go ahead and shuffle those feet, get them going. Roll your shoulders back into place. Now we're gonna shuffle side to side. So let's go to the right first, here we go. Shuffle to the side, and switch. So just quick feet. For lower impact, just march in place side to side and give it a little tap, just like that. Good, keep going. And one more in each direction. Very nice, your next move. Lunge back with your right leg, pull your elbows to me and reach up overhead and lunge and reach. Good, as you lunge, your back knee goes to 90 degrees. And you've got two more on each side, really squeezing the shoulder blades together. One more on each side. Good, last one right there and take a deep breath all the way up. Give yourself a great stretch and we are gonna get ready to go. We've got 30 second intervals coming your way here. These are great um, repeat, uh, repetitive intervals. So you're really gonna learn the move and I'll give you some modifications along the way. So if you need a drink of water, grab that now. I'm gonna set my interval timer and we'll be ready to rock. <clears throat> All right, first interval. We are gonna do a squat thrust just like we did in the warm up. So grab your weights. You'll do a squat thrust all the way back, in, and curl, okay? So weights, if you don't have weights, no problem, okay? That is our little reminder that we need to get going in three, two, one, and begin. And curl. So if you don't have weights today, it's no problem. If you don't wanna jump, you just squat, and curl. This is a great way to modify this movement. When we kick back into that squat thrust, our body is a plank, our glutes are squeezing. Good. And just five seconds left, friends. Come on. And one more. Good, and 10 second recovery, shake it out. You're gonna do that move one more time. So let's get ready to go. And time starts in two seconds. Take it down. Good job. Now, just like the warm up, you can walk your feet back and walk them in for a little less intensity. Good, just 10 seconds to go. I know you've got this. Very nice. And two seconds left and time is up. Enjoy that 10 second recovery coming your way. 
You're gonna tip at the hips. Row, fly, and stand back up. Ready, set, and tip, pull, and open. Stand all the way up. And again, if you don't have weights today, it's no problem. You just squeeze hard through your back as you're lifting your arms. Nice job. If you've got heavy weights today, you can bend your elbows as you go to the side to make it a little bit more gentle. One more time. And recover, good. 10 second recovery, we're gonna do it one more time. I'll give you a one more move after this. Ready, set, and hit tip at the hips and go. Hinge, pull, good job. Come on. Now you should be really feeling this work in the back. And if you wanna feel this even more, just go a little bit faster. Maintaining good form and control through your movement. 10 seconds left, friends. Come on, we've got this. And last one, last rep, make it good. And recover, good. Roll those shoulders back into place. The next thing that you're gonna do is hold on to your weights, put them together. You're gonna lunge back and lift. Ready? Lunge back. Uh, and continue with that same leg. Nice job, lunge back and lift. Now, can you give me a little extra squeeze here in the weights to activate your chest? Nice job. And almost there, just one more lunge. We're gonna switch to the other leg on this next one. So shake it out and get ready. We're gonna go again in just a moment. So squeeze the weights together. And other side, getting ready to lunge. Looks like this. And let's go right now. Good. Knee tracking right with the toes. Good, if you can, you want to, add that leg lift. Are you still squeezing your chest? Come on, give it a big squeeze. Good job. Almost there. We've got five seconds left, guys. Stay with me. Woo. And last one here. And you are done. Good. Shake it out. Get ready to switch legs. We're going to do one or each leg one more time. In three, two, and let's go now. Lunge and lift. Good work. Good, can you squeeze your chest any tighter? And even if you don't have weights, press the heels of your hands together to feel the intensity. Nice job. You've just got two more. And last one right here. And you are done. Switch to the other side, ready. Roll the shoulders back into place. Once again, it looks like this. And here we go. Come on, lunge, lift. This is great for balance training. Second set, always a little bit more challenging, but we've got this. We just keep plugging away. Come on, final 10 seconds. That means we can probably get five more reps in. What do you say? Ah, uh, and how about two more? Two more, everybody. And last one here, and done. All right, set your weights down. We are gonna take a quick pause from that 30-30, okay? Roll your shoulders, get a drink of water. We're gonna go to a lower intensity 30-30 circuit. So, next thing you need to do is grab your weights. Again, no weights, no problem. Next move looks like this. We're gonna balance on one leg, lift your opposite leg off the ground. You're gonna lift 90 degrees, Come up, come down, up, and down. Okay, this is a scarecrow. So we're working on strength and flexibility in the shoulder joint and balance. So getting ready to go, find your weights. You've got two sets on each side. Start with the elbows at 90 degrees and here we go. Yes, slowly moving through these positions, thinking about the elbows at 90 degrees and option to modify. Just tap your foot to the ground. Keep your arms moving. Very good work. We are getting there. 
You've just got 10 seconds left. Good. Woo. We're starting to feel that now. Yes, we are. And done. Okay, shoulder roll. Now the good news is we're just gonna do it one more time. Okay, since we're mostly working our shoulders, we're just gonna do it one more time on the other side and call that good. So elbows up, pull back, push down. Yes. Again, creating strong shoulders, moving all around that shoulder joint here. Nice work. So lower intensity, a little easier to breathe through this exercise, catching our breath before we go to a higher interval. Almost there. You've got time for one more in each direction. Ah, oh, and that is all. Roll your shoulders back and around. All right, so next thing that you're gonna do is a reverse lunge, okay, with high knees. So set your weights down. You're gonna take a reverse lunge, come up and jog in place. Other side goes back, high knees in place. And lunge, come on, pump, 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 pump. Option, march in place if you need it. Come on. Very good job. Now still working on that great lunge form that we practiced from the previous round. And done, recover. We're gonna do that one more time. So shake it all out. Let's get ready to go again in three, two, one, and take it back. Lunge and high knees. Now you can stay back here for just a moment to feel that load. Good. Making sure you're alternating each time your leg goes back. One, two, three, four, five. Good job, we've got time for one more on each side. Let's finish it up. There we go, shake it out right there. Nice, nice job. All right, coming up next, you've got a tricep overhead press. Tricep overhead press, good. Now we're gonna add on to this, tricep and then chop to one side. Tricep, chop to one side. So you can use one weight, both weights, no weights, totally up to you. Woo! So again, working through the obliques as we rotate through the trunk. Good job. And recover for just a moment. One more round like that, and then we're gonna really intensify the next interval with the Tabata. So, arms up, and tricep, and rotate. Nice job. I love these combo moves. They get our whole body working together. Uh, we get stronger. We have more functional training to help us in our day. And last one right there. And all the way up and hold. All right, good. Set your weights down, guys. And we are moving on. I'm gonna stop this timer. You get a quick drink of water, Tabata. We're gonna do some lateral movement with a squat thrust. So you remember the squat thrust from the warm up. We've got a high knee, high knee, high knee to the side. Take it back into a squat thrust, high knee to the side, and back into a squat thrust, okay? So that's exercise combo number one. Exercise combo number two, you've got two push-ups. So two push-ups here, four mountain climbers. Now you can do push-ups on your knees, you can do slow mountain climbers. It's completely up to you. This is a 20 second on, 10 second recovery. And let's go ahead and get our next interval timer going here. So starting with the side shuffle, ready, set, and begin. Side shuffle and squat thrust. Side shuffle. Good, again, you can walk back if you do not want to add the jump. Just like that. You can take sidestepping low squats if you need to. And done. All right, get ready for push-ups. Okay, we've got 10 second recovery. Two push-ups, four mountain climbers, ready, set. And here we go, two push-ups. And one, two, three, four, two push-ups. And one, two, three, four, 
Again, push-ups on your knees, just like that. One, two, three, four, your choice. Come on, keep going. Ah, recover, back to your feet. Now, you know the moves. Now I want you to intensify your movement and go all out. Here we go, three, two, one, shuffle, go. Come on, squat thrust. How fast can you get down and up? Come on. You should be working towards your max effort right now. Come on. And recover. Push-ups and mountain climbers. We're ready. We're set. And up position, go. Two push-ups and two mount four mountain climbers. Again. It's all right if it's getting tough, guys. That's all right. That means you're working hard. That means you're right in the zone you need to be in. Uh, and done. Come back to your feet. We're halfway there. We've got two more rounds just like that. Ready, set, and let's go now. Woo! Now, if at any time it's getting a little tough, you're feeling lightheaded, what you need to do is sit one round out and take a breather and then jump right back in. And done. Push ups and mountain climbers. Get ready. Get set. On your toes, friends. Let's go. Two. One, two, three, four. Remember, your push up is just a moving plank. That's all it is. Stiff, solid, and strong. Ah, done. Back to your feet. Woo! We're ready to go again. Side shuffles, squat thrusts, and go. Can you get lower in that side shuffle? Get those feet going a little bit faster. Come on. And done. Push-ups. You're doing great. Let's go. Push-up position, ready, set, and go. Come on. This is our last interval, and then a big recovery. Come on. One, two, three, four. We've got one more set. We can do this. And done. Woo. All right, everybody. Enjoy a recovery. You did great. Get a quick drink of water. We are going to move on to a set of balance and core work before we stretch out and get on our way. Now, this balance set is not as easy as you think it's gonna be. So here's what it looks like. You're gonna take one leg and lunge back, okay? Your next move will be an attitude where you pop your knee up to the side. We'll add some pulses, okay? You'll find yourself in a tree position, okay? We will squat to the side. We'll lift our leg, there we go. And we'll have some pulses with that leg lift. So. I'm gonna walk you through all of it. We're gonna stay at each level for a few moments, for a few reps, before we combine it all together. So to begin with, lunge to attitude. So right leg goes back, okay, lunging position, lunge down, attitude, hold. Now your arms can be on your hips, they can be out in front, wherever feels best. I want you squeezing your glutes, and you've got two more here. Good, and last one. Next time up, you're gonna hold and pulse, one, two, three. Again, lunge down, pulse, one, two, three. Abdominals pulled in tight, one. Good. And last one, lunge in place, attitude, pulse, two, three, hold. Bring it right here into a tree, both arms up, balance. Hold here for five, four, three, two, one, good, set your foot down. We're gonna squat to this side. So squat and lift. 
Good, so giving our standing leg, our previous standing leg, a little break. And you've got two more here. Good. On this next one, hold it up and pulse. One, two, three. Squat down and pulse. One. Nice job. Again. Now maybe you want a little more balance challenge. Take your hands out to the side. There you go. Good work. Almost there. And last one. And hold. Bring that leg across your body. Balance. Bring the heels of your hands together. You're going to squat five times. Down slow, up quick. And if you need to hold on to something at this point, that's okay. No problem. And two more. And adding on. We're gonna squat down and pulse for three. Ready? It's three, two, one, and rise. Again, three. Good job. One more time, please. All right. Let's try the other side, okay? So the leg that was on top is gonna go back into your lunge and then attitude. And lunge, attitude. Good, that should feel really good for the hips. And one more time, this time hold it up and pulse three, two, one. Lower back down again from that back view. Three, two, one. Good. And adding on. Last one here, pulse three, two, one, hold, okay? And reach arms up, and you can have your toe to the ground if you need to, that's fine. Squeeze through your glutes, stay right there. And set both feet on the ground, we're gonna squat to this side. So squat down and lift. Now when you lift, shoulders stack over hips. Again, that option to make it a little bit more challenging right here. And two more. Good, I want you to hold that leg up and pulse three, two, one. Now it doesn't have to be very high, does it? Three. Good, notice how hard this standing leg is working. Yes. And one more time. Good, on this next one I want you to hold and cross it over. Get ready for your figure four, heels of your hands together. Squat down and up. Slow down, big squeeze at the top. Good job. Almost there. It's all right to lose balance. You just jump right back into it. And one more time. Now guess what? Pulses are next. Here we go. Ready? Pulse it. Three, two, and all the way up. Again, hold on to something. Maybe you want your arms out to the side for better balance. Whatever works best for you. And one more time. Good job. And last one. We're going to do it one more time through three reps for everything. So take your right leg back and lunge and lift and hold top. Three, two, one, lunge it back and three. Good. One more time. Here's three, two, one, hold and tree for three, two, step both feet down, squat to this direction, squat, lift. Nice job. And hold top, pulse it three, two, one. Good. Just two more like that. You're doing great. Whew. Last one. Bring it on across the top and down you go. Quick up. One more time. Yes, we've got this. And let's do three pulses. Ready? Three, two, one. Stand all the way up. Can you give me one more? One more. We've got this. And Release, get ready to lunge. Same leg that was on top, lunge back, attitude. And one more, hold top, pulse three, two, one, and lunge again, three. Continue. And one more time and hold that tree pose, hold, hold, hold. Good job, both feet to the ground, squat to the side and lift. Good, a lot of pressure coming through that standing heel. And one more time, pulse it up now for three, two, one. Big squat down again. Good job, one more. This time cross it over and squat down. Good work. And one more time. And we are gonna pulse in the bottom. Ready, pulse it three, two, one. You've got this, come on, two more. And last one right here. And then we will be done with our balance work and done shake out guys all right join me on your mat for our last move you're going to need your weights for this last one 
So grab one at a time. Go ahead and come onto one elbow, either one knee on the ground or both feet on the ground. Start with your weight right up over your shoulder and hold. Good, we're just gonna thread the needle here. Bring the weight underneath and all the way up. Again. And if you don't wanna use the weight, no problem. And one more time here. Nice job. And hold. Set your weight to the ground. Rotate into a plank position. Both elbows on the ground, knees or toes. Stay right here. Good. Next challenge, if you'd like it, is to rock your hips side to side. So rock, rock. Good. Almost there. And one more on each side. And done. All right. Take your weight in your other hand. Elbow to the mat. And we are ready to go. Weight up. Draw the abdominals in tight and rotate through and lift all the way up. Good, just three more. Good, final one here. We're gonna revisit that plank one more time before we stretch and get out of here. So roll over, feet to the ground, elbows to your mat, hold your plank first, get nice and steady. If you don't wanna rock side to side, this is where you stay, ready? Rock side, center, good. And just three more for each side. And final one right here. And we are done. Drop your knees to the mat and rock back into a child's pose and stretch. You did a great job today. Let's take one leg forward into a lunge position and drop our hips down, both arms come up. And just wrap your hands around your hips. Look to your back shoulder. And we will rock onto our back toes and rock onto our front heel and just hinge at the hips here. Now, if you'd like, you can reach your arms out in front and release, switch to the other side. Lunge it down, back leg sneaks behind and lift up. Wrap your hands around your body, look to your back shoulder. and rock onto your back toes, front heel to the ground. Again, if you need to tap down somewhere with your opposite hand, no problem. Otherwise, reach your hands to me. And let's rise all the way up onto our feet. And we're just gonna squat side to side. Great job with your 30 minute workout today. And reach all the way up and switch to the other side. And you've got one more. Good job. Bend both knees and roll your body all the way up to a standing position. Arms come up and around. Good, walk your feet in and take your hands behind your back, clasp them together, open through the chest. And you are done. Great job today. Have a wonderful day, I'll see you next time.